So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is what I believe is going to be the next big paradigm shift in Blender modeling, and that is SDFs or sine distance functions. A couple days ago, uh, somebody on Twitter, a developer, released this demo where they have SDFs merging and combining, and you can get a sense for what this is. It's a way to make hard surface looking uh, type geometry in a non-destructive way where uh, you can actually weld and merge things together and each uh, individual shape, uh, you can control kind of the concavity or how much stickiness it has to a different object. And you can see that you can create some very crazy results with this. Now, uh, we have something similar in Blender right now, uh, Metaballs, which does kind of the same thing, but let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a Metaball ball, and I'm also going to add in a Metaball cube. And you can see, if I select both of these, you can actually kind of merge these things together. I'm going to increase the resolution and uh, we also have the property that if we go into edit mode uh, we can take one of these and make it negative uh, which is another feature uh, but we don't really have much modeling features beyond this we can't pick the concavity or anything like this Met metaballs are just kind of like a lame version of what is to come. And while that SDF thing I showed you is planned to be an add-on, it's going to be released in the summer, so it's going to take a while. However, this uh, SDF idea is actually already in Blender, in case you haven't noticed. If you go to Blender Download and you download the newest alpha version, 3.6, there's a new feature that's been added in Geometry Nodes, and you're going to see that that feature is F SDF uh, nodes, SDF Volume Sphere, SDF uh, mesh to SDF and a bunch of operations. So uh, it's not a fully fledged thing yet where we can combine and merge meshes, uh, but we are getting there. So the next paradigm shift is SDFs. Get ready for them.